Hey there guys, this is Ultracron, and we are back for some Perfect Dark. So, last time out, we did the Datadyne Research Investigation level. And this time we're going to be doing Datadyne Central Extraction. Um, basically this mission is the reverse version of this mission. So it's kind of like going through the building backwards, because we've got to extract Dr. Carol. So, as usual, here's the objectives. Uh, we've got access to foyer. Elevator. Reactivate your office elevator. Destroy data dyna hovercopter. And that's like a pain to do, but it's not too bad, it is something to deal with it. And as usual, if you want to pause here, you can read the information here. There's not as much as there was on the first two missions, but it's alright. So um, but why not press B? There we go. Sound the alarm! She's here! Lights out! Oh! What the? And here we go. So straight away we want to switch on a night vision because this is a, uh, they turned the lights off. You got like a minute before they switch the lights back on. At least on a um, on perfect agent anyway. On the agent, it stays dark forever, if I remember correctly. Now, if we can manage to get through here without um, actually being damaged, we will um, get a extra weapon. There you go, I'm glad he stood up. There's not many more guards, I believe there's only three more. But if we don't get damaged, we'll pick up an extra weapon, which will be useful. There we go, killed everyone. So I'm gonna grab all this. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. <laughs> but yeah, once um, the lights come back on, your night vision gets affected, so you need to be ready to switch back off. So you can actually get to the elevator if you want to be a bit more riskier. You can get to the elevator before um, like that timer runs out. But uh, we didn't manage it, but we did manage to get through without being damaged. So I'm going to push Dr. Carol for here, there we go. Go through here. Now by doing that, Dr. Carol will take longer to get upstairs. And uh, we don't have to worry about protecting him. Especially with the hover ship coming around. It is a scope version of Falcon 2, by the way. Um, they make you use all three versions. Oh, God! My Sh gun. I've shot the weapon out of his hand, but he was trying to run towards me to shoot me. Yeah, see, if um, you don't get damaged, that guy drops a key card to Cassandra's offense. I'm sorry. So I need to take down that chopper, but it takes a lot of bullets to shoot down normally. There is a weapon on them later on that we can use to help us take care of it. I should see some of Cassandra's bodyguards here now. I hate this part because we need to run to this computer. Uh, there we go. We activate the elevator. Now I could just shoot it down with my weapons, but it's just going to take a really long time to shoot down. So it's not really worth doing. Can't remember if there's anything worthwhile in any of these rooms. But there we go. Elevator. Doctor Carroll should be on his way up now. Not got much CMP ammo left. I might switch to shotgun actually. Now one of the interesting things about the shotgun, um, it has a its secondary fire is a double blast, which is useful for making sure you kill the enemy. It's also pretty good against that helicopter. 
Oh wow, she just got shot by the, the helicopter. Right. She's down. Okay, just make sure there's no more in there. Let's continue it to here. Now, I can't remember if there's anything down here. No, there isn't. Okay. Let's switch back to Falcon. Uh, I love those two guys, they're awesome. Right, so now we've got access to Cassandra's office, we will get a grenade. Just the one grenade, but it can be very helpful you later on. So I'm going to smash this glass, and we're going to pull out our rocket launcher. Now the rocket launcher's got a targeting mode on it, we just have to target the, um, the thing we want to shoot with it, and the rocket launcher will do the rest. The rocket launcher does only have one shot in it though, so we have to be careful with it. And I've lost a hover chopper. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right, we'll catch it over here. The um, targeted shot is a lot slower at flying, but it's um, more likely to hit than anything else. Now, instead of using a grenade, like um, for the next part, like I should, I'm actually going to use it to show off a secret. So if I um, throw a grenade here, I believe. It fell through the map. Great. <laughs> I went to all that effort just to get the grenade and it fell through the map. Well, basically, um, if we blew down this wall, I believe, it's either that wall or this wall. I'm pretty sure it's this one. We could find ourselves um, another block of cheese. So, yeah, unfortunately, we can't do that now. So, I'm going to use my CMP for this fight in here because uh, we need it. We meet again, girl. You've become quite an annoyance. So, everyone in here has got night vision goggles. The lights are going to go out. Good night. So, what we're going to do, we want to switch them on and off. Because then that will make their eyes hurt because we've got night vision back on. Switched on. And it'll make us easier make them easier for us to kill them. All dead. Don't keep the jump ship waiting. Get back to the landing pad. So the game expects you to actually fight the hover chopper up here. Um, with a rocket launcher, but you can just kill it at any time. Um, on Special Agent, it would be some extra rocket ammo down here that you can pick up. Just in case you miss a lot. This is what Going somewhere. Something I can do for you, old woman. Return our sapient immediately. You don't know what you're doing. Yes, I do. I'm leaving. One more chance. Give it back. And you could come and work for me. Sorry, got a shoes. You must get the sapient back. We cannot proceed without it. I know that. I also know who to talk to. Mr. Carrington. Okay. Now we still haven't got any other shots apparently. I'm not sure, I can't remember what other shots count as, but we haven't added any in all three missions yet. Normally I get loads of them. I think other is where you shoot someone in the foot or um, in the gun. But then again, we shot the gun out of someone's hand earlier. But anyway, um, we got the rocket launcher now. Unlocked. Um, I just believe you just get out for just beating that mission. Pretty much. There's not really much to say about that, but yeah, we did that one fairly easily. Um, so because I've got a tiny bit of time left over, and this video is like only 10 minutes, so I just want to quickly show something. Um, awesome, we got the award. Well, I've already got the award, but yeah. So um, the next level would be Carrington Villa, but we'll do that next time. 
real quick, I wanted to show off. Uh, wrong menu. Just press start here. There we go. So um, there's this um, there's these awards on this version of the game, and uh, all of these uh, for different things. I've not got them all because some of them are weird. I think some of you may have to do co-op, and I've not, not had someone to play co-op with properly. Or someone who can play on perfect agent, I should say. And uh, these are all just different things you do on each of the levels. Like that's for the first level. I can't remember what it is. That's the second level. Just get the proximity mine. And that's the third one. I can't remember what you do on it. And uh, that's the fourth one where you don't use a sniper rifle, I think, and so on and so forth. Like each of these is just a different thing. And if you get them all, you get an achievement. Unfortunately, I haven't got them all yet. But. I'm getting there. Um, I believe Ninja was for doing everything under a certain amount of time in total. Uh, I think that's for playing the game without auto aim on, which I keep forgetting to switch off. And I can't remember what that one's for, but yeah, once you get all these, you get an achievement, and it's the only achievement I haven't got. And it's only in this version of the game, so kind of sucks. But yeah, um, there's something else I wanted to show off real quick as well. I I can't remember what I was going to show off. Um, oh yeah, the cheat menu. So, um, the cheat menu, so far, um, is all these. If you want to know, like, what to do for a certain cheat, it'll tell you down there which mission you need to go on. And, uh, like, what you have to do. See, for these ones, mostly it's just all, um, complete the mission. But in there, some of the other ones, like, here, should be stuff like, um, complete under a certain time. Yeah, there we go. You gotta do it under a certain amount of time on certain difficulties and stuff. Just like in GoldenEye. But except for this game tells you what you have to do. And, uh, like, you got different AIs you can have for, um, co-op there. And these are all different weapons you can have. Classic weapons for Joe. The, uh, unlock through the firing range. Uh, more weapons. Some of these uh, you unlock over time, over the missions, and some of them you have to beat times for. Yeah, it's a, there's a lot of cheats to get, but we'll get them all by the end of the playthrough. So everybody, um, I want to thank you for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Next time we will do Carrington Villa, and that is probably one of the harder levels for me to do. So with that, I'll see you guys later for some more Perfect Dark.